What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. Today we are going to be buying and building a brand new Mercedes AMG GT. Check this thing out dude. Oh my goodness. 456 horsepower, 189 top speed, a 3.8 second 0 to 60 and a 12 second quarter mile. This thing is an absolute beast. It's got a, uh, a front mid mounted twin turbo V8. And uh, I'm actually a, a big fan of these things. I think these things are super sexy. Obviously, the GT has been around for a while. This is kind of like the new version of it. I think these things started coming out back in late 2014, something like that. But just listen to this thing. That is such a meaty sound. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, guys, this, uh, this is going to be a fun episode. Here we go. So my first stop was a tune-up shop. You guys could see... We put in some work. We've got a level 399, a max level in the game. We've got 1,066 horsepower, top speed of 229, 0 to 60 in 2, and a quarter mile in 8.83. So uh, let's see let's see what we can do with this thing visually. I'm going to start off. We're going to go to our community wraps here, and we're going to see what people have for us. Oh, dude, that's sexy. That green, that candy apple green. This is um, the new AMG GTR. This is the, the color for that. That looks really, really good, dude. Oh. I don't know. We, we, we're going to keep that in the back of our head for sure. Then we've got the, the gray with the green and black stripe. That's not bad. We've got the red here. That green just looks so good in my opinion. Ooh, this is sexy too. Oh, okay. I feel this. That's pretty good looking. Got more gray with the silver. We've got another green one, except that's not really the right green color. Um, dude, you know what? I actually kind of like, I like that gray with the, the racing stripe. I think that looks really, really classy. All right, we're going to go with that. We got that. Let's go, boys. Good stuff. All right, so next up, we're going to uh, move to stance. We'll go ahead and, I say we lower it most of the way. For customization, what do we have here? We've got a pr ooh, prior design. The prior design wide body kit is what I would probably get on my GTR if I went with a wide body kit. I know Liberty Walk is always like the, the main one to go with, but the prior design one looks really, really good. We've got a prior design kit for this thing too. All right, I feel it. I dig it. Do we want any canards up here? I almost feel like that's overkill on this one because the front bumper is so crazy. So we've got that or that. Um... I guess we're going to go with the full prior design set. That works for me. Whoo, this thing looks nasty, dude. Rear canards. Definitely going to put the prior design rear canards on there. Exhaust. I feel like the stock exhaust looks best. Diffuser. Lots of options here. I guess I'm going to go... Dude, let's just stick with the whole prior design look. Can we not change... We can't change the bumper, can we? We could change the spoiler. Got a little duckbill prior design spoiler there, or we can go with something big. Hmm. I like the stock one because it, it kind of pops up, but it's kind of exciting in that sense. But I think I'm going to go with, with a large wing in the back. This thing's going to be huge. All right. It's going to be huge. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out those taillights. That looks good to me. For the rims, can we make them a... Oh, we can't make them any bigger. I'm going to say that we should probably just black everything out. I'm going to keep the Mercedes rims on there just because, um, because what's it called? I'm going to put some toils on there because it's got the Mercedes emblem in there. I think that looks kind of cool to have the Mercedes emblem in there. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is so, do we want front canards? I don't think we do. Hold on. It wants me... Let me try putting the normal front bumper because it has prior design canards at once on there. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But I feel like I... I feel like I like the... Actually, there's not really a whole big change here. I'm going to go with the stock front bumper and I'm going to add those... Those prior design canards. I want the one that has both. Boom, there we have it. Dude. Oh, we should do a splitter too. Ooh... Ooh, I like it. I like it, boys. Do we want to change up the headlights at all? Do we want to darken them out or leave them white? I think I'm going to leave them white. Windows. 
I feel like we should kind of smoke them. Dude, this thing is so clean. I gotta put Toyos on the front tires. Got Kumos or Toyos. I'm gonna go with Toyos. Oh, we don't have the same tires on. Hold on. The Toyos on the back. Oh, maybe the back tires are just bigger. I don't know. They look different, but they're the same. All right, guys. Boom. There we have it. I think this thing looks amazing. I think that is is one of the cleanest, sexiest cars that we've done. Not too much done to it. Like, it's a simple wrap with the simple racing stripe. But it's just, it's got, it's got aggressiveness to it. It looks mean. This thing looks insane, dude. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and back out of here. We're gonna see what we could do. So uh, I have seen some comments recently about people asking when is multiplayer coming? I promise guys, it's coming very, very soon. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm starting to get a little bit sick. A little voice crack there, but um, yeah, it's coming very, very soon. Um, I think if I was to guess, I would say there's like five more episodes. I wanna check out like five other cars. I wanna get a couple more drift cars. I wanna see the 350Z and the, uh, the Speed Cross series. I wanna do a couple more race spec cars, but um, then we're gonna hop into MP. The thing is, I just, I want a fleet of cars to hop into MP with. I wanna have so many cars to choose from, we don't even know what to do with ourselves. So far, we're kinda looking like that for race builds, but I don't know, man. I, I think it's gonna be fun to, to kinda be able to mix it up constantly. So, that's my goal. That's what we're gonna be doing. Let's go ahead and hop into a race here. Let's see what this thing's made of. You know what we haven't done in a while? I don't kinda wanna see. We haven't done this race in a while. I'm gonna do the, the big, long highway loop where it's just pretty much top speed the entire time. This thing's got a pretty good top speed. Our zero to 60 is two seconds instead of a lot of the other ones we've been doing have been in like the 1.9 range. So it's, I mean, it's close enough. You don't really have to worry too much. This thing is just big and beefy. Listen to that thing. I love it. It's a different sound than most of the other uh, supercars and hypercars that we have. Plane taking off right there. All right, let's get it, boys. Skirt the city. Here we go. Whew. This thing looks mean. I love it, dude. Oh, that is so sexy. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna have to get around all these guys without actually running into them, which is not gonna be easy. I don't really know when to make my move. These guys are literally all over. Okay, whatever, dude. They were all over the road. I Like, what do you want me to do? Uh, there's no way I was going to be able to pass those fools. Let's focus on winning this race. That's the more important part. Looking all right so far. Oh my, yeah, you want me to finish this race without, without running into anybody? Good freaking luck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we got a giant pile up inside the tunnel right there. Oh my gosh. The thing is, I think we've been close to completing that on this race before. I'm not sure how. We're currently in second place. There's somebody... Oh man. De'Aaron up there, he's probably in his... Budokan. When I was thinking about making, making drift cars, we still have a few cars we just haven't straight up haven't checked out in this game yet. But when I was thinking about making drift cars, I did not mean to do that, I'm sorry, Aaron Fox. Um, I was thinking about making a, a Lambo Huracan drift car. I don't know, we could do that. We haven't checked out the uh, the 911 yet. We checked out the GT3 RS, which is like the big boy 911. But we haven't checked out the normal 911 Carrera S yet, so we could make that into a drift car. Dude just tried to shut me out of the exit right there. We're playing hardball today, I guess. Everybody's getting really physical. I feel like this is a GTA race. We're about halfway done, a little bit past halfway. Oh, shoot. I thought we were going to be able to slide to the outside there. I thought it would just, the, the turn would kind of steer me out, but it didn't really. Oh, that was exactly halfway right there. Never mind. Forgot it's two laps. Here we go, baby. Got 
gotta stay ahead. Woo! You're driving this fast is insane. 200 plus the entire time. I like this thing so far. I don't see anything to, to write home about though. In terms of like handling and speed and stuff. I feel like it's... I mean it's good because it's a level 399 but it, I, I don't feel like it's, it's one of our top dogs. I don't know, I could be wrong. We're gonna try to get a race that has a bunch of turns next. Be able to fully check this thing out. But yeah, I don't know. I love the look and I love the sound. It's definitely top dog in terms of sound. But it's not bad. It's just when you're comparing it against so many other beautiful, fantastic, incredible cars, it's like, how does it even stand up to that? You know what I mean? Woo! All right. Well, that wreck hurt us. Try to thread the needle between those two cars obviously didn't work out very well. Oh my goodness, dude. Woo! Not a bad turn there. Really, ideally, we would slow down and we, we probably could have made it without hitting the walls, but that was about as good as we were going to get going 200 plus. 1,400 yards and these guys are starting to catch up. Finish line is straight ahead. Let's go, boys. All right, so that was a uh, a real rough and tough um really wrecked this run. race, but <laughs> even the the computers talking about how we really wrecked the ride. But uh, we got the win. That's what matters, right? So we'll take it. Give me a uh, an outlaw. Ooh, nitrous and acceleration on the turbo. I'll take it. I'll take acceleration over brakes. That was probably a bad move, but that's fine. Um, what should we do for something that has a bunch of turns? I just want to see how this thing performs. Maybe something like this. Ooh. Danza Macabra. Or this. Silver Sprint. Mountain Run. Hmm. I'm looking for turns and length. I don't want something that's super short either. One minute 11, we don't want that. One minute 22. 229. Three minutes, that's not bad. Let's do Exiles. I'm down for that. We got a gas station right next to it too. So we got a three minute race with some, some twists and turns through the, I don't know what's out here. Is it desert roads? I think there are desert roads out here. So this should be good. Ooh. There's a gas station. Let's go ahead and let's clean up our ride a little bit here. There we go. Not gonna be able to go through that guardrail. I just love the body kit on this thing, dude. That looks so good. That looks so freaking good. I love those rear canards too. All right, guys, here we go. I've got a feeling we are going to have a pile up in a tunnel this time, so that should make it easier for us. I'm going to let these guys go ahead because I know I know we have a, a shortcut coming up up here. So we're going to hit that shortcut. And that should let us get ahead. Woo! Okay. Ended up not hitting that corner exactly where I wanted to, but we're okay. It, it got us up in a second. Now we only have one guy to pass instead of three. Ah! We were tandeming. And then he hit the brakes there. That's fine. I don't know. In a, a game like Need for Speed, I just feel like... I feel like challenges like that are just not meant to be beaten. Whenever you're racing with other actual, like, drivers and stuff, so many variables to watch out for, it makes it difficult. You know, I have a little bit more respect for this car on this, this race here. It feels good around the corners. It feels really good. I feel very much in control. I think the other one was, like, it, it's not the fastest car in the game, let's be real. It's, it's got a top speed just over 200. We just we just hopped over a car. That was beautiful. Um, and that other race, the highway race, that was all about speed. That's something where you'd want the Regera. 
But here, where we actually have a lot of turns, it's extremely effective, dude. It feels so good. I feel so in control. This thing's actually pretty solid. All right, guys. So, it, it's a good thing we checked out two races because I wasn't really stoked on it at first. But now it definitely feels better. That, dude, come on. Random rocks. We're okay. I just wanted to make it more challenging. We've actually got guys up here with us. Ooh. But yeah, dude, I don't know. This thing, it... It feels very solid through the corners. Let's go. The heat's on. It's a little bit crazy through there. It's just got a nice, a nice break to it. I don't know. Some of the cars you have to pull the brake too lightly or too hard to send it into a drift. This one, it's just, it's very, very well done in that department. Five hundred yards remaining. There it is, boys. Let's go. All right. I'm 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 very happy about this. This actually ended up being exactly what we wanted. We failed to beat our autolog rival. That's fine. Usually we don't fail those. That's interesting. He bested me today. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think this is the best car in our garage, but I definitely have respect for it. I definitely think this is something we could use. And that's exciting. That's the point of doing all this. So we have like, I want to say, you know, maybe five more episodes, give or take one or two in there. It could be four. It could be six. But uh, we've got about that many left, and then we're going to start hopping into multiplayer, and uh, I think we'll definitely see this thing again. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what... Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. Let me know what drift car we should do next. Although, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to see your comments t before I record this episode. So, never mind. I was going to ask you guys what we should do next. Instead, I'm going to pick it here, and I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to be doing next. I want to make a drift car, a level 399 drift car, over one of the cars we have left. So I'm gonna hop in here. So you guys can see like, really what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna hit every car that we can get up to level 399. So like all the derelicts right here you guys are seeing, but like a lot of these cars you can't get up to level 399. This, we've already done the RX-7 Spirit R. We've already done the Mustang. Let me keep going here. We've already done the M4 GTS. We have not done the Cayman GT4, we did the Camaro, we did the Corvette, we didn't do the 911 Carrera. I don't think I'm going to do the M5 just because I'm not really stoked on it. Maybe the Corvette Z06, that could be a cool drift car. We just did the AMG GT, we have the Jaguar F-Type, we have the, the SRT Viper, and then we've already done pretty much all of these except for the Aston Martin. So you guys can see we only have a couple left, plus the, the 350Z Speed Cross. So I'm going to say let's build a... Um, what would be fun? Dude, I kind of want a Porsche drift car. I think a Porsche drift car would be sick. I'm going to go with the 911 Carrera as drift car in the next episode. I'm going to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.